Hey everybody, High Shield here. Um, sorry for the late upload, it's not been a fantastic week. So, quick recap for last episode, we cleared the Tower of Omen here, defeated Medusa at the top, and we lost Desh, who jumped into, I believe it's the, like the core of the tower to repair it, to stabilize the tower. And that got rid of the whirlpool that was stopping us from going to the outer ocean here. Now, since we do have access to this again, well, not again, but now we have access to it, I do need to do another run of missable creatures. But what I'm going to do this time is just record like normal, and then whatever I have to get extra, I'll just do off camera. So, if we remember, he told us to go to the Isle of the Dwarves, which if you look to the left, to the west of us, we have two caves, one purple, one grayish. That's where we want to head first is the grayish one, so we'll head that way. We'll see what the dwarves have for us. Let's see if... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, two of the new enemies, Mermaid and Seahorse. And level up. So we're looking good. We're all level 15 now. <laughs> Another new enemy, which is the Sea Serpent. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm not doing too hot today. There should only be a few more enemies after this one. I think there's another five in this area, like there was in the inner. Let's make a quick save, though, before we go in. We are in the Dwarven Hollows now. Lolly ho We're a bit little, but we're in big trouble. Uh, that's not good. Lolly ho humans, welcome to the Dwarven Hollows. Check Magnet for some letters. Have a new one from Sarah. I'm so bored. Being a princess is not all that's cracked up to be. I wish I could go on great adventures like you. Take me with you someday, alright? And from Sid. The first time I met Mrs. Sid, she was a passenger on my airship. It was love at first flight. Get it? Ha ha ha. Uh. Let's do a quick run through. I don't think Ark has anybody to get letters from just yet. New letter from Topapa. Recently, the children have started to play further, farther and farther away from Ur. While I praise their adventurous spirits, I worry that it will lead them to trouble. Uh, wait. What did he say? That was a new line. Talk about the monsters you met, Kubo. The kids will love it. And nothing from Taka. Uh, that, that, that. We put a ward around the shrine. No one can, even, can get close. We'll defend the last horn. That rascal Gutsko's made off with a horn of ice. 
He made his getaway through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim. But you're humans. Humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. There was a shiny tower to the north after the earthquake it was gone. But there's a big hole where it was. Or is of the light, did you ever know? That out to sea, far, far to the east, is a peninsula with a village called Geishal. <coughs> and here's another uh, job description guy. I think we went through all four of these jobs. I'm not going to read out, but I'll leave the text up there. Because I'm pretty sure that we went through it. Nothing significantly new in the item shop. 80 gil here to rest. Uh, weapon shop. And we have a new weapon type, so... Let's us know we'll be seeing new jobs soon, which is cool. Um... We actually will buy three of the tier things. Leave us a little pressed for, pressed for cash. The two horns made of ice, they are our treasure, our precious. One of them was plundered and pilfered, stolen by a scoundrel. It must be found. Leave us a little pressed for cash, but the upgrades here are not too considerable, minus the helmet. I really only need two of them. Fingus is all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Sell the extra flame mail for the other helmet. I'm sure we'll find another one like what happened last time. And Angus's defense is still at 30, so he's still pretty solid. Guts go the rogue. He stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. Stop. The dwarven treasure is up ahead. All non-dwarves are forbidden to enter. In we go. Oh no, are we turning ourselves into toads again? Sorry, had to be done. And our next mini dungeon. Excuse me. Sorry, I had a little coughing fit there. I didn't want to have the mic on for that. New enemies in here. Bombs. Pretty much a staple in Final Fantasies. They grow in size after a few turns, then they explode. But they're extremely weak to ice. Some more new enemies. These are manticores, I believe. Yep.
They might be strong to lightning because Arc is not dealing too much damage now. Petrification on hit two. Might need to pick up some more gold needles. Gold Needle can place the one we just used. So what I'm thinking, if we have enough money after this dungeon here, is, is to head back to the Village of the Ancients and see what we can get for spells there. Nope, new enemies and a back attack off of it. These are stalagmites. They have two abilities that can cause paralysis. Or, not paralysis, uh, petrification. This back attack really messed me up. I could have switched back to the front row, but I thought it was going to be quick. Zeus's Rats. Gold Needle. And actually just thought of another thing I'd like to get from Village of the Ancients, which is the Light Staff, which will let us have lightning on use for our caster characters. A couple of Gold Needles. Two new enemies for inside here. We have the Ruinous Wave and the Sea Devil. In hindsight, I probably should have made Luna the Black Mage since he's only really using black magic, but I like being able to not use uh, spell slots if I don't have to. Which is kind of nullified once you get the 
the on use staffs. Staffs, staves. We are going to heal up. 3,000 gil. So 6,000 gil in total, and everybody from that uh, fight level up except for Rifia. Let's go the rogue. Go away. Scat. Skittle. Uh, skibobble. The horn is mine. Mine, I tell you. And our next boss is Gutsko the Rogue. Um, here I'm actually going to unequip the Ice Staff, so Lunith can use it as well, and double up on the Blizzard on use. And, as normal for bosses now in this part of the game, he can attack twice per turn. I actually think for this fight we're going to swap the Viking Axe in. Let's see if it does okay damage or not. Oh, that's unfortunate. our only mallet left on Ingus. Uh, we will Blizzard uh, and Cura. Oh my god. Oh, good, I missed Ingus. That would have been really unfortunate if he made us big again than we malleted. I made ourselves small. So Luth is still okay because he can use his spells. Arc is kind of dead in the water though. Free high potion. We should probably move Ark to the back row and guard with him. Nah, I think our other sword was better. Because the amount of damage you deal is directly related to how many hits you can deal. And since the axe has fewer hits, it does lower damage overall. We'll high potion Luna next turn if he lives.
Oh my god. Poor Luneth is just having an awful time here. Buy more Phoenix Downs now. Uh. That's my fault. I didn't switch him back row when he got minied. Obtained Horn of Ice. He vanished? Anyway, let's bring the horn back to the dwarves. Okay, everybody's full and all. Uh, didn't we always have a visible shadow? I don't think so. That's weird. New enemy in this fight, the Merman. Well, not much we can do outside of outside of leave, which having the teleport spell would be nice because we could teleport out of dungeons. So when stuff like this happens, I love being interrupted. And now that I got interrupted, I forgot what my train of thought was. I know I was talking about the teleport spell me and we'll teleport out of dungeons. Alright, I'm going to finish this thought before I continue onward because I'm going to lose this train of thought again. Teleport spell, be able to teleport out of the dungeons after you finish your boss. Cuts out, stuff like this. Running through, getting a ton of encounters. Which... Right now is fine for experience, but... Later on, it's going to be just annoying. An invisible wall blocks your path. Guys, we have to talk to him. Lolly ho, lolly ho. Thank you for returning the horn. Put it back on the shrine beside the other. I'll take down the ward. Here we go, lolly ho. You can approach the shrine now and put the horn back where it belongs. Ha ha ha, I was disguised as your shadow. Thanks for leading me up to the shrine. Oh no. 
Now both horns are mine. Gutsko steals the horns of ice. Well, how did you do that? And why do you keep stealing the horns in the first place? You silly twits. These are the horn of ice. Horns of ice. Wards against the fire crystal's flame. They are the key to the tunnel leading to the crystal. Now that I have them both, the power of the crystal of fire is mine. Mine. That's a problem. Lolly, oh no. Now both have been stolen. Gutsko must have gone to the mountain to the north. Please, take the horns back from that scoundrel. The fire crystal is in danger. Warriors of the light, you have to hurry. Gutsko it was. He took both horns. Oh. He took both horns of ice and ran away to the cave to the north. We're in big, big trouble. We got one horn back, but now both are gone. I guess it just goes to show you for that just goes to show you something, but I'm not sure what. Warriors over the light. Did you ever know that out to the sea far to the okay yeah, we talked to that guy. But he does yeah, his dialogue didn't change at all. Uh, run back here. I honestly still really don't want to buy a lot of armor, but we'll do it. We have an extra money now. Got like 10,000 gil from that entire area. I actually have a feeling once we do this, we're going to get all this stuff in the dungeon. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, weapons, I think we were okay on weapons. He has the bell, but we don't need the bell just yet because we don't have the job for it. I think the only thing I would like to do is go back to the village of the ancients. Pick up that light staff. I can't believe it. Gutsko made off with both horns. Oh boy, are we ever in trouble. Warriors of the Light, we've been had again. Actually, I think... Well, first I'm going to go rest. I didn't realize we didn't restore from that. Well, there wasn't a ball, so we shouldn't have. Makes sense. But I think we'll go to, back to Village of the Ancients after... the next dungeon... Only because it's fire-based dungeon, and we already have the ice staff, so we're more than set on on um, damage dealing spells, quote unquote. Also, something I never showed off because I didn't really ever do this, but uh. So if you buy items in bulk, you get discounts. So like after the third, the fourth is only 80, and then it goes down. I think that's all right, we'll get two more items. Actually, we'll just get 10 of, you, uh, 10 of everything, why not? Rest here. I don't think there's anything hidden in here. No. But because the fire cavern is kind of a long dungeon, it's not super long, but it's longer. I think what I'll do is cut the episode here. And we will start the Molten Cave on our next episode. Oops. Because I don't foresee us getting through this within 15 minutes. 
So with that being said, I will see everybody in our next episode for Monday. Thank you for watching. Have a good